I've had a lot of questions about the ACI, um, and I've been in touch with the folks at the ACI. Let me take a second to address that community. Uh, obviously, if you have a loved one who's in prison, that's a stressful time all the time. If you're in prison, it's a stressful time. If your mom or your dad or your uncle or your best friend or your boyfriend is in prison, that, that's stressful every day. It is 10 times more stressful now because I've said you can't visit and because obviously there's a high degree of anxiety in the prison system or any congregate care setting when you have a highly contagious virus. So I, I just, I want you to know, I, I hear you, I'm aware of it. We are working very closely every day with the correctional officers, with the medical staff at the prison, um, you know, with advocates to make sure we can do everything that we can do to keep you safe, to keep you healthy, to make sure you uh, are informed. And I want you to know we know it's an especially difficult time. By the way, that messaging goes for people in, in other settings too, group homes, you know, the Harrington Hall homeless shelter. If you're in a homeless shelter, life is really tough as it is. You add this on top of it, it's unbearable. We haven't forgotten about you. We hear you and we're doing the best we can. To the correctional officers, we hear you too. And I wanna thank you for getting up every day and going to work. Thank you for your bravery. We're gonna to continue to try harder to get more personal protective equipment and, and keep you and, and all of the inmates safe as we get through this.